and you could actually cross it because there's a lot of rocks you could hop, Check but I, you wouldn't wire. slip, want to slip and, then, and fall in there. And <laughs> your last mistake. After the run, we'll have you scan out as well, so we know that we've got you on and off the trail. Cool. Thank you. Thank you all for coming out. It's going to be a Sunday fun day run day. I am Scott, if you haven't met me. I will meet you all at the finish. We can hang out, have some fun, make sure everyone gets shuttled back up here. About the trail, it's, it's going to start here. There's a little climb, single track and double track. You'll be in the high desert to get some views of the Bradshaws. After you get to mile seven, where I will be, it turns into some fast, fun, flowy stuff downhill. It's gonna be a lot of fun. A few things, there are some cows that could be out. If they're at a watering hole, try not to spook them, go slow. We don't want the, the ranchers getting upset. Who's running Black Canyon in February? Show of hands. All right, Woo! yeah. Woo! 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 Stay with a clap. <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today is the first of three Black Canyon training runs for 2022. And we are starting at the Big Bug Trailhead this morning near the start of the 100K and 60K races. And we're running down all the way near Bumblebee Ranch. My training program today is a little bit different. I've actually started a real training program with a coach. More to come on that. But I am only doing the first 12, maybe 13 miles this morning. But it is so nice to be back. So nice to be back on the Black Canyon Trail running out here. It's been too long for me. The views are amazing. It's a, it was a crisp Arizona morning here in the fall. We are late November right now and wanted to bring you guys along for this run. Hope you enjoy the views. Wow, there's some amazing views out here. About two miles in to the day, and it's spectacular. Okay, so I mentioned that I'm on a training program, I've got a coach, and from where I've been recently, doing the Slam of the Dam this year, and DNFing the Mogollon Monster, took some time down, was not running consistently, so I don't have a recent base, so we're kind of starting from scratch here. Last week I ran 31 miles. I should be right around 40 miles this week, uh, which for me, uh, normally it doesn't feel like a lot, but I think it's a good place to start. And I am doing some speed workouts and that will be part of this upcoming series of videos is taking you along some of my workouts each week in my long runs 
sharing that journey of getting back into shape, setting goals for 2022, and setting myself up for success there. This is just the beginning of that journey. So I hope you will join along. It should be a lot of fun. And I will check back in in a few miles. It just never gets old out here. Absolutely loving this. About 5.7 miles in here on the Black Canyon Trail. And we are about to get to a road section and there's a cool windmill, but I wanted to point this out. This is one of the more original Black Canyon Trail markers. They have since upgraded to the more modern Carsonite signs and, and stickers. It's cool to see those still out here, out and about. And there's some even older looking ones that are on the training run number three day. And so there's two more of these training runs coming up. If you are new to the Black Canyon Trail, if you're running the race, feel free to come on out. The next two dates, we've got one in December, one in January, and I can link those below. But we do a, a shuttle in the morning, so you run point to point. And if you do all three, you'll cover basically the whole trail. So here we are coming up to join this dirt road up here. And you can see a iconic windmill here that we use for the logo of the race. This one's in pretty rough shape now. I don't think it was this bad a couple years ago. I've been putting out some of these flower arrows to help Make sure people don't get lost. How's the trail so far, guys? Great. It's awesome. Love it. country out here. Gotta keep those gates closed. Okay, we're a little over seven miles in. This is the view. We've got the Bradshaw Mountains. And then over there, we got our first aid station. That's the first aid station on the race and today as well. We're gonna cruise in there and get some breakfast. And then I've got another five miles beyond that for my run today. Here we are, first aid station. Got our buddy Scott over here. There he is. Oh, look at that, cowbell and all. Woo! Probably my favorite section of the trail right here, leaving Antelope Mesa. So the section I'm on right now is one of the most fun downhills of the whole race. We've got this windy single track and you can see here it just opened up below us. You can take a look down towards the next part of the course. That dust plume is from the road. It kind of parallels the trail. And I, man, this has got to be just some of the best times to be running in Arizona. So perfect out right now. This is my long run for the week. It was supposed to be 10 miles, but because this is part of this training run, I got permission from the coach to go a few more miles. So I'm at 10 right now as we speak and probably have three more to get to the next aid station, maybe two and a half. 
and that'll cap off a 40 mile week. And what am I getting ready for? Well, I'm currently waitlisted for the 2022 Barkley. So if we get into that, that is, that is the general goal right now. And next weekend is the lotteries for Western States and Hard Rock, which I put into both of those. So depending on how those go, we'll start to shape up what our 2022 calendar is fully gonna look like and what our goals are for the year. Okay, we're 12 miles in now. In this section of the trail, we are coming into Hidden Treasure Mine. And just like today, for those of you running the Black Canyon Ultras, this is where you're gonna to start to feel the heat of the day. You've just come out of a higher elevation section up on the Mesa through that amazing single track, curvy, flowy part. And now we are going across this valley it's exposed, you're lower down now, and you can feel it. Something to keep in mind about two hours into your uh, Black Canyon experience. Don't forget to ice down. I think we've got less than a mile to go. That's where it always heats up, huh? It does. <laughs> Hey, hey, more cowbell. <laughs> Do you want to tissue your arm? No, I like being bloody. Oh, okay. <laughs> Makes me look tough. <laughs> this is such a cool thing, though. How many people showed up? I'm not sure. I didn't get a Oops. final count. I think 50, about 50 people checked in on the check-in thing. I'd say at least 50. Yeah. <laughs> you made it! Yeah, well, well, awesome. I don't know. That might be a good idea. Awesome, awesome. Great nice job. I want some ice cold water or something. Sure. If you like some, let me grab it for you. How's the trail today? Oh, that was really nice. Running the 100K coming I, up? Yeah, I am. First time? This will be my second. I DNF'd the first time, so try to take a little bit slower on this section today to get a better feel for it and hopefully better look next time. Awesome, good luck. Yeah, thanks. Get you hydrated. Did you get a little hot out there? It got a little warm, bit. Yeah, a little bit, huh? Yeah. You gonna come to the next one, December 12th? Yeah, I hope so. We hope so too. <laughs> right. Same party, different place. Woo! Oh. Is that Dave? Is that Dave? It looks like his, yeah. ho how he hobbles. Yeah. That's how he hobbles. <laughs> this guy is the only person <laughs> to have ran and finished every Black Canyon. 100k. <laughs> Somehow he keeps coming back. And, he keeps coming and I'm only back. 29, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all usually... because of this guy. He talked me into the doing the training ones uh, before the first race, and he's like, "Hey, you can do this." So uh, anyway, uh, he's a I don't know positive influence, bad influence. <laughs> What keeps you coming back to it every year? Yeah, I think it's a better word. A beer. No, no, just <laughs> good people and you know, it's a it's a fun race. I it's beautiful the and and by you know, after a year's time I forgot about all the pain and I signed up for it all again. <laughs> no, it's just fun. It's just beautiful. You plan on keep on running it for the foreseeable future? Well, as long as I keep doing the training runs and maybe <laughs> get my ass out of the chair. You gotta more keep often. holding them, I guess, then, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, that little look into the Black Canyon training run. We are super excited to be bringing this channel back and we've got more videos coming out this week. I am heading tomorrow morning. This is Monday, so I'm heading on Tuesday to the running event in Austin, Texas. This is a huge trade show for the running industry and we'll be putting out some more videos. So stay tuned for that and it's just great to be back.